Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take another batch of the Explorer Notes. Uh, we're going to cover that area of the map, which is mar should be marked with the red circle. Uh, before we jump into this, I would really appreciate if you subscribed and liked the video, turn on the notifications, and it would be also pretty sweet to get a comment as well. Negative or positive, I don't really care, it's still fun to read. Uh, anyways, though, we're going to start here at the green obelisk, uh, roughly these coordinates. If you look north of the obelisk, you can see this sort of swamp. Um, and you can see this very sharp rock here. You want to pay your attention to the other rock. It's not as spiky as that one, but it is sort of facing towards the ocean. So you want to go to that. Uh, and you want to sort of follow it underneath this big part. And there's a little ledge here. Where you find the first note. It's a ledge above the trees. The green obelisk is there, although you can't really see it because of the lighting. And here you find a note. It is Nerva Note number... If I can get that. Nerva note number 25 at 55.2 by 75.8. For this next note, we're going to start off roughly at the same area, although an easier point for anyone to follow without using that note as a marker. Um, this rough area, the obelisk, the top of this cliff, just follow it down, and you should reach an area that looks like this. If you can continue towards sort of the ocean, I'm very sorry. Uh, it is the lighting; it's really crap. But you can see the ocean in the back there. If you go towards the ocean, you will eventually find this big cliff, which also has this ledge thing coming off from this side. You can see it looks kind of weird. And at the end of this one, just jump down the cliff. You can also just follow the cliff. So if you like go down the cliff and you look towards the cliff, you just want to go to the left. You should see that little ledge and there is underneath it another yeah. note. Nerva note number 16 at 53.6 by 77.8. The next note is also very easy to find uh, from this area that we are at right now. Um, so if you use this note here again as a marker because it is very easy. Um, or the end of that cliff, if you will. You can look towards the swamp and you see a big rock that I don't think you can farm. So go under it. There's another rock sort of behind it here and there is a note under it. This is the Ichthyosaurus at 52.9 by 79.7. So for the next note, uh, we're going to start in that area again. Um, like this swamp area, we're here at now. Those are the rocks with that last note. And you can actually see the ruin from here if you're on the air from there. But uh, you want to just kind of head towards the cliff here. Kind of hard to explain exactly what. You got some humps. You have this kind of spike here. And if you go on top from that, on the cliff... You can see this very ruin sort of out in the open on this plane. Nerva note number 6 at 49.3 by 79. So for the next note, um, you want to start at the plane here. That's the note that we just took. And you have this sort of T section from the swamp there. You can kind of go up here towards the blue obelisk in the distance, or you can walk up this way, which we're going to do, which leads you to these rocks. This rock formation is pretty easy to find. You can see all these sort of, uh, I'm not really sure what you can call them, ledges type things sticking out from the hillside here, flat building space. Um, and from this one, from the big one on the top, which is a rock from the top, 
You see you have one there, one here, one in the front. You want to walk to the one in the front, kind of walk around it, down to the one in the middle, and at the end here there is a note. Rockwell number 7 at 44.1 by 81.3. So the next one is difficult to find, so you kind of just need to use this as the best description I can give you. So you want to start at this rock formation. The note is there, the previous one. Go to the end of this ledge. Face the jungle. Have those rocks behind you. And walk straight in. Is that a snail? No, it's a listro. And when you do this, you should see this ruin appear. It's in the jungle. It's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it has a note on it. It's the Kairuku. Or penguin, if you will. Did mean to whistle. 42.5 by 79.6. Next, you want to head to this area. This is kind of a big lake up here, that lake. These are just rough coordinates. We have a mountain there, we have a mountain there, green obelisk over there. Um, this is sort of the plains that we were at last uh, time. And you can see that next to this lake, if you climb up to the top here, towards the ocean, you have this very distinctive rock formation with a bunch of big rocks on top of it. And as you can see, it is a very big ruin in the middle. A bunch of pillars surrounding sort of a little structure in the middle. And on it, you have Nerva Note number 24 at 44 by 77. This next note is very difficult to dir uh, direct you to because it is again in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't really find a good landmark on this one. So I'm going to try my best so when you are at the mountain here. Um, and you look towards the green obelisk. You can see that there are these sort of, this sort of rocky ridge thing. That goes down following this, like go down here. Goes down points a little bit to the left of the obelisk there. Follow that down. Then when you reach the bottom area here, go straight down. And there are two pillars at the edge of the forest. Again, it is really hard, hard to direct you to that one. And there is a T-Rex over there. I'm going to be a, get attacked. This is main note number 23 at 40 by 2. 40.2 by 78.7. The next few are pretty easy to find. Um, they are on the mountain, so it is very easy to spot them because it's a good view up there. No trees in the way. Um, again, from the green obelisk facing behind you. Just head up the mountain and you should see that ruin right there. It's sort of pasted on the mountain. It's sort of this squarish thing. They did this when they released the extinction or up, building up for the re release of extinction called the Extinction Chronicles. This is question mark, question mark, question mark number four at 76.1 by 79. From here, the next one is very easy. Just fly up from that one, and you should see a ruin right there. It could, it's almost impossible to miss. Just fly up, look to the left, and there's a ruin. It's a bit dangerous here though, so I might get attacked. Coordinates are... Uh, 35.6 by 78.1. And it's the Nerva note number two. From those two cur um, from those two notes, we can find the next one by simply pointing towards the right, towards the ocean. Follow it um, that way. 
kind of difficult to explain this one, but when you get to this area, you can see it is sort of this uh, valley type thing going down. Uh, on the left here, there are a few trees clustered together. And there is a ruin there, kind of hidden underneath one of them. The Electrophorus dossier at 36.4 by 81.4. So the last take of this was ru rudely interrupted by a T-Rex. So I'm going to try and do this again. Uh, start at the top of the mountain for these next two notes, or at least this next one note. Uh, but the two next notes are kind of difficult, so I'm going to do my best here. Start on the top of the mountain here uh, and head towards Carno Island. You should see this, these sort of, yeah, like these different textured rock thingies sticking out. I'm bad at geographic words, so don't judge me for that. Uh... And head down this one here, facing sort of to the right of Carno Island. You have this sort of thing on next to it. If you head down it, you should eventually get here. Uh, and this is like a little bulging part of the rock here. Or whatever, sticking out. It's sort of steep in the front and on the sides. Uh, you see a bunch of rocks down here. Like when you are on it, you can see a bunch of rocks down there. Sort of right of it. You can use that little rock on on it as a d indicator that you're at the right spot. Head down. You see these two rocks that are big here. Then you have three more big ones further down. And in between them, you find this ruin. So it's kind of hidden. And this is Mayin note number 22. At 30, uh, 30.1 by 82.3. For this next one, uh, we're going to head down to the coast. We're going to take Carno Island at last. we got to actually head back south a little bit first. But anyways, before we get into that, you want to head down to the coast towards Carno Island. And when you look up in the jungle from the beach here, you can see this cliff right there. Uh, just roughly the coordinates we're at right now. So you see that very kind of... Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to see that cliff. Um, if you head down to the ground go what the hell was that go towards the cliff follow the cliff to the right until you can actually go around and up on it so when you're on the top of the cliff uh, you're gonna follow it follow it you'll s climb an elevation until you get to this point what the way you know it's kind of it slopes outwards towards the ocean that way and then you can see it sort of goes inwards before it then goes further out to the top there. So you can see how it sort of bulges out a little bit there. And then goes back in and then out again. So from this area, uh, you want to just head directly into the jungle. So from this one, Carno Island behind you, walk straight into the jungle. And it is a very small ruin hidden around some bamboo here. It's not very small, but it isn't tall, that's the point. It is the Diplocaulus dossier at 27.5 by 82.5. So the next three-ish notes are very easy to find, so this should not be a problem for me to show you guys. But we can start, obviously, with uh, the first one here. We're back at the mountain. Um, so we were basically down there finding a few notes. Carnal Island is there. And if you are at the top of the mountain, sort of towards the top, look towards sort of the left of Carno Island this time, from the top here. You can once again see this type of uh, rock-ish formation form. So follow this thing um, to the bottom here, to this area. You can see it's really kind of becomes a spike thing, very sharp. Go directly down from it. These are roughly the air. Yeah, these are the coordinates we're at. Just go straight down, and you should see the ruin. It is very big. It is right there. Uh, it is an alpha raptor protecting it, though. Um, I'm gonna try and be quick. Yeah, it is coming towards me now. It's the Baryonyx. Uh, Baryonyx dossier at 
30 by 78. So the final one, not the final one, I don't know why I said that. Uh, you want to head towards this side of the mountain. Uh, these are the maps like the... Why do I not know? The left side of the mountain, fr facing the frozen blue obelisk. Uh, the area looks like this, it's very open compared to the other ones, not that many rocks here. Um, towards the river, uh, and sort of uh, line yourself up from the top. Once again, you have these differently textured part of the mountains here. Um, and just look down towards the plain, you can see that there is some sand there, and some grass, a little bit of jungle, and then the river. And then you look literally directly towards the blue obelisk. Go down. Um, and it should be very easy to spot it. I'm gonna get attacked, but that doesn't really matter. But you can see here, there is a ruin. Mayin note number 21. Jesus fuck. Sorry for that interruption, but... Anyways, um, we have Mayan note number 21 at 32.3 by 73.3. We're heading upstream for this one. Um, we are here now with the sort of a stone pillar eagle nest type thingies here. Um, and the river here. Again, this is where we are. So you want to go towards the mouth of the river, we can actually face that mountain. And when you go from that space, you can see there's a cliff, and then that slopes down and you have a little area you can actually walk up into the jungle. And then you see the cliff starts again. And from here, you want to start the beginning of this cliff. Just walk up, and it's the note right there. Simple as that. right there. It is main 20. Main note number 20 there at 39 by 71.1. So that was the final note for this video. I think we covered 18-ish notes. I was supposed to take Carno Island but I figured you know what let's save that for next video because this video is probably going to be quite long now. Um, again please if you would be so kind to uh, subscribe if you liked it like the video if you like the video uh, of course obviously and uh, I would also appreciate comments and all that stuff like I'm trying to make my way here I'm trying to find my way on YouTube which isn't easy and um, yeah I'm gonna do the next batch video coming up soon in a few days and then uh, hopefully you'll watch that as well but don't forget checking out the previous videos though, because I did have made a lot of videos now. I think this is episode 5 or 6. So check out the previous episodes, and uh, I'll see you again later, hopefully. So, yeah. <laughs> Bye.